OK, this is the house, front to back. This is the last day, and uh, Simon is now away for a long weekend, and he will be coming back on Tuesday of next week to finish off everything he has done. And basically, he's got to finish off little corners, and he's got to finish off bits and bobs. We've got to do the roof. Nothing outstanding, nothing major. He's so pleased he's got the lion's share fixed. Done. So you can see that these are the things that need to be fixed. All the pipes have been put in, the round pipes, which look so good. And we've got the corners. Oh, yeah, we've got to fi finish this here. These have got to be fixed. And then there. And that's already established. So there's another bit there. It is just brilliant. I mean, I'm so really, really chuffed. I can't can't say how pleased I am. It's around the windows, you see there. There's some these bits here they have to be finished. Uh, that's the grill up there which allows the airflow into the building and around the windows. This is going to prevent any damp. The apex has been completed now. Uh, we're going around the side here. This is the residue we've got enough. We have enough um, uh, bits left, which is great because he did think he would not have enough. So the cladding, I think we got about one, two, three, four, four and a half pieces, which is really good. And this is the back here. Gives you the idea up there. And look, at, I mean, just, just you know, the the old guttering, which is ancient, but it's come up well with just a decent round pipe, you know. It's going to have a connector on the bottom, but look at it, you know, it's just so nice. It's all so new. Oh, there's my coffee. I wonder where you went to. It's freezing cold, microwave job. Okay, round the side. That's a car, there's the good old car. And then we have the front again. And this is like the whole building. I've even got a better signal on my TV because we had to remount the aerial in a different place. Going into the most important place. Forget all that, because that's that's brilliant. But guess what's lying down there under those covers? This little beastie. She is going to be ready to go. Next, where's it? October the 5th, I think. You right, you guys? October the 5th, final job done, new forks. I will have new forks and new seals and new dust covers. I will have also some new uh, bearings on the front wheel and the brakes will be done and sorted out. Under here, wow, it's just the beast, isn't it? Hello, how you doing? I'm a bit fed up because you don't take me out riding anymore. Well, I've been busy. I've been busy helping build a house. So, all right, that's an excuse. But grab rails from the S, eh? This is cool. Everything fits. Everything from the S fits the RT. But can I find any bits for the S? Oh, God, can I how? Battens. We're going to keep those, and that's going to be for next year's build when we do internals. Anyway, going back to the bike. S, yeah. Anybody, please, if you read, if you see this video, which you probably won't, because no, not many people are very interested in building houses. But if anybody knows of any S's going, just a bike I can buy, which I can grab the bits. Oh well, please contact me. Anyway, that's it. Over and out.